All right, so let's talk about TurboTax. If you've purchased it on Amazon, how do you get it? How do you download it? How do you install it? So you first go to Amazon, click on your account up here, and then scroll down under Digital Content and Devices, and you'll see Digital Games and Software. And then you should see your TurboTax showing up somewhere here. You'll see a license number, so copy that and save that for later use. And then click on Download here. And it should download to your Downloads folder, or it may prompt you for a location where you'd like to save it. So I'll save it right here to my Downloads. And then that'll take a few minutes to download. It's 208 megabytes. So that should download pretty quick. Mine says four minutes, but that'll go faster. All right, just about done. As soon as that finishes, we'll install it. So let's show in folder. Come on, computer. All right, here we go. And you should see it there in your downloads folder. Then double click on that thing and you'll see an installer come up. Here we go. And then you should see a pop up that says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? When you see that, click yes. And then the installer will launch. Here we go. It's extracting it. It's installing it. It says preparing to install. There we go. Okay, so on this you can click accept on the license agreement. Click next. Right here it asks where you want to install it. Just leave everything default, update automatically, enabled. On this one you can leave that box checked if you'd like to or you can uncheck it and then click on install. And that'll take a few minutes to, to run through the installation. All right, once that's done, you'll see this screen. Click on Launch TurboTax, and you'll see that software open up. And it may download some updates the first time it opens. It wants to go in and get the latest changes if anything has changed or any, any updates. So when you see this update window, go ahead and click on Update TurboTax, and then you'll see it download those updates. And it should be pretty quick. This says 25 minutes, but... It won't take that long. It might take a minute at the most. And it's almost there. Just be patient with it. It might take two or three minutes. But you want to make sure you've got those latest updates. Okay, almost there. And it may install your state as well. All right. Okay, there it goes. And now you'll see a window like this. It says it's successfully updated. And then click on continue using TurboTax. Looks like it wants to restart on us here. So while that's restarting, it should be pretty quick to open it up in just a second. And if it doesn't open on its own, click on your start menu there. Click on TurboTax. And there we go. All right. The very first time when you install this, it takes a few minutes because it's got all these updates and everything. Okay, looks like we have to answer a license agreement again. So we'll just click on I agree. And then we'll go through here. Now we're to the activation window. And this is where you need that license code. So if you don't have it, go back to Amazon and copy that license number right there. Copy. And then you'll go in and paste it in right here paste and click activate TurboTax. All right, we're all set. Let's get started. Okay, so on this screen, you can enter all this information if you want to, but you can just click continue. It doesn't force you, even though it has all these stars next to it, indicating that those are required fields. They're not required. You don't have to do that. You don't have to register or anything like that. Um, with your name and everything. So just click continue and then say, do you wish to continue without registering? Yes, I do. Okay, now we're in TurboTax. All right, so now how do we get started from here? Click on begin. It's pretty easy. Start a new individual return. All right, let's click on continue. And it should look around on your computer 
That's why it's taking a few minutes. It will look around and see if it can find your tax return from last year. And if it can, then it will fill in most of your information for you. So we can see right here, it found my file from last year. So I will just click on transfer return and it will grab all the information from that tax return and load it up in this new tax return for this year. That makes it really easy. You don't have to retype your name and social security number and everything like that. So it gets you started and then you can go in um, my address, my dependents, everything is in there. I click continue, click continue again, click continue again. Okay, and then you just go in and start answering the questions and you're up and running and you can file your taxes. So that's all there is to it.